Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today I have a rhyming book for you that explores all the different sounds in the world. And I especially like this book because it rhymes and I love getting lost in a rhyming book. It just feels like a journey for me. So let's read it. It's called Rumble and Roar, Sound Around the World. It's by Sue Fleiss and illustrated by Ko Lee. Here we go. Sound abound the world around. Listen here, cup your ear. Wake, stir, whistle, whirr. Hearts thump, beat and pump. Snarl, growl, screech and howl. Chirp, hum, drip, drop, drum. Babble, swish, roar and whoosh. Rumble, blow, blast and flow. Crunch, snap, squawk and flap. Ring, moo, chomp and chew, crack, slide, mountainside. Trumpet, pound, shake the ground. Swat, swish, dive and fish. Paddle, slap, slosh and lap. Talk, tick, turn, and click. Whisper, shush, slumber, hush. Purr, snore, sounds no more. <laughs> well, friends, I hope you enjoyed that lovely rhyming book about sound. Uh, there's all sorts of fun facts in here. I'll start reading them for you. And if you're tired of listening, then let's just give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed. But if you want to hear all about the science of sound, I'm going to read this for you right now. What is sound? The world is so full of so many sounds. Loud, soft, high, low, funny, annoying, and more. All sounds start with vibrations. The back and forth movements of particles that travel in the form of waves. When sound waves reach your ear, they go into your ear canal, hit the eardrum, and cause vibrations. Three tiny bones deep in your ear start moving, and this moves a liquid inside the spinal cavity of the inner ear, the cochlea. The cochlea changes the vibrations into nerve single signals that travel to your brain, and your brain makes sense of these signals. Sound waves move through the air, liquid, and solids. On Earth at, at sea level, sound travels through the air at about 761 miles per hour, which is the same as 1,116 feet per second. Amazingly, sound travels more than four times faster in water than it does in air. Humans can talk thanks to our vocal cords, which are in the larynx, a part of the throat. The vocal cords stretch across the larynx and they vibrate when air passes through. Hold your fingers gently against your throat and make a sound. Can you feel the vibrations? How does the heart beat? The heart is a special muscle that sends blood all through your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Think of the heart as a kind of pump. Before each beat, the heart fills with blood and then it squeezes or contracts to push the blood where it needs to go. The right side of the heart re receives blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs. The left side of the heart receives blood from the lungs and pumps it to the body. What does blood do? Blood brings oxygen and nutrients to the body parts that need it. It also carries away waste. Have you ever checked your pulse? Your pulse rate is the number of time your heart beats every minute. How do animals use sound to communicate? We might not always understand what animals are saying, but they send and receive many types of messages using sound. They can use sounds of 
for courtship, to find food, to protect their territory, for a display of power, to warn others of a threat, to bond, or to defend themselves from predators. Many animal sounds are vocalizations, chirps, calls, howls, or even songs. Some click their teeth, drum their beaks, or flap their wings. Many use low-pitched sounds such as rumbles and roars, which can travel farther than high-pitched sounds such as squeaks and screams. There are many interesting examples. Insects, spiders, and fish make sounds by rubbing body parts together. Cockroaches hiss, bees buzz, birds croak, grunt, whistle, squawk, and click. And songbirds make musical sounding notes. Elephants trumpet, dolphins, porpoises, and whales communicate through whistling, clicking, and forcing air through their blowholes to make chattering or squealing sounds. Ghost crabs beat their claws and drum the sand. Coyotes howl and bark. Hyenas giggle or laugh. Monkeys screech, donkeys bray, owls hoot, tigers roar, alligators hiss and bellow. Some animals, such as bats and elephants, communicate with ultrasound or infrasound, which humans cannot hear. Bats use echolocation, also called biological sonar, by producing sound waves into the environment and listening for echoes to return from various objects. This is how they find insect prey. Elephants use low-frequency calls or vibrations to send messages over several miles. What makes a volcano erupt? <clears throat> Earth may seem completely solid, but it is not. Under the top layer of the crust is a layer of liquid rock called magma. A volcano is an opening in Earth's surface, and magma can come out through this opening. Once magma gets to the surface, it's called lava. Lava is incredibly hot when it comes out of the ground. It can reach temperatures of 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. As it cools, it turns into hard black rock. Some volcanoes erupt with a bang while others erupt quietly. Some eject clouds of hot ash, dust, and lava through an opening called a vent. This ash and dust can cover surfaces in a thick, dark gray powder. They can even be thick enough to block out the sun in the middle of the day. The large rocks hurled from the volcanoes are called bombs, and some are as large as a house. <laughs> all right, friends. Well, that's all really interesting facts about how sound works and how our bodies work too, which I think is super duper cool. Thank you so much for reading this with me, friends. Give me a thumbs up and please make sure you subscribe. Thank you. Bye.